Welcome everyone to the All-Star Showdown Race here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. So, David Davison is on pole and here's the full qualifying results and we'll take you to trackside. So, it's a simple qualifying format. Just uh, get in, finish in the top 20 and you're in the All-Star Race. So we have an all-star package, which just means we put restrictor plates on, so yeah, you can notice by the time it is a race command. Alright, engines fired up, here we go. Getting ready for the field to roll off. Here we go. So two Davids starting out in front. David Davison and David Martins. In a number 99. So is there points for the showdown and the all-star race? Yes, there is. So for the... So it's only going to go towards the winner and segment winners. So it's just three points for a showdown win. And then for the segments, except for the last one, will also be three points. So yes, sir. Uh, mentioned about the all-star package so yeah these cars are gonna go a bit slower than usual so 31 seconds around this racetrack so yeah it's pretty slow but just trying to copy what NASCAR kind of does with their all-star package even though it is silly yeah. well not much to worry about aero and all that dirty air stuff the bubble and all those aerodynamics shit because uh, it kind of doesn't really exist here in NR or it's not as strong alright here we go pace cars in getting ready for the green flag top 20 that's all you gotta do here we go green flag but the others up front probably want those uh, three points but for the others at the back yeah it's gonna be tough to work their way up so Let's go for the top 20. Fisher in the 5, trying to make a 3 Y. Holiday and David Martinez just contact. Oh, teammates getting together. Scott sideways. Oh, that's not good. 4 wide about up here. 4 wide almost for like a for about a second and a half right there. And these guys are racing hard. These guys are in a safe spot. They don't need to do stuff like that. So 166. We see they do slow down in the turns at least. A little bit so they're still breaking and everything. Not just full throttle all the way through or a little bit of a lift. check back of the pack we should be really focusing back here on the top 20 because this is where it's going to get really intense I expect well you should expect the front runners to be calm but you saw it right there they're going after each other so this is a battle for 20th it looks like at the line now 19th, so it's Rain Dance who holds the last transfer spot. Michael Brown in the 18, Kenny Johnson in the 14 back there. Oh, got a car on the wall, it's Connor Breen in the double zero. Outside line being held up. Connor Breen trying to regain his speed. Johnson around the outside. He's now 20th. Here comes Michael Brown. Huge run. Down to the bottom he goes. Three wide. Oh, door slam to 53. Can't complete the pass. Davison still is the leader. So still kind of three wide almost. Michael Brown again to the inside. Oh, going to get into the 53. Both of them sideways. Man. 
Still got time to make a move. Josh King ends up going around him. He'll get 21st. He'll move up to 21st place, it looks like. Oh, no, 22nd. Okay, Rain Dancer's back to 21st, but they're still racing real hard. Oh, man, they're scrambling four wide. Nearly four wide there. Might have, should have had a little bit more grip to the inside, make it more competitive. Although, the lack of grip on the inside has made it a little bit entertaining, a little bit challenging. So anytime someone goes to the inside, you know they're just going to try to slide up and try to do something like Michael Brown there. Huge run. Almost 170. Drifts up the racetrack a little bit. Oh, oh, Cole, Cole, Colby in a 34. He gets turned. That'll trigger a yellow 360 it. But he's okay. Oh, here comes Noel Holiday. Battle for the race lead. Coming to the yellow flag. Who's going to get it? I think David Davison will get it. Yep, Brown on the outside. And he'll take the first caution flag of the day. All right, caution flag is out for the first time tonight. So let's take a look at the replay. So this, uh, well, these drivers are separate from the lead pack but they're also kind of separated from the those guys a little bit so Chris Kyle in the 20 he just hooks the back end of Cole Colby and turns them around luckily no one else was involved so it just does a 360 and gathers back it back up keeps on rolling yeah he's got a lot of work to do now can't be happy about that was in 17th not exactly a safe place to be but since you know there was a big margin yeah but anyways all right first caution of the day we'll take you back to the restart all right getting ready for the green flag all 39 cars still remaining on the racetrack david davison has led everything so far holiday noodles martins fisher kennedy mccoy uh, cropley butcher and orman your current top 10 all right so we're getting ready for the green flag Waiting on the pace car to pull in. There it goes. Here we go. First restart of the day. Green flag is out. Uh, we're back underway. Great start for the, the one car. This uh, may, may be a showdown race, but this uh, win if they can get it. Could be a small boost in morale. Yeah, there's the one team at David Davison. Yeah, they've been kind of struggling here. Also in the National Series. And Trucks, I think he is too, maybe. I actually don't remember where he is in the points. I don't have the point standing pulled up because no need to talk about points in a showdown race. Look at the run the 51 gets on the outside. So the outside is the preferred line. Might need to lay down some PJ1 on the inside. Do I hear spinning? No? I think I'm just hearing things. So 20th place is currently held by... I think Alexander Rowe. Yeah, you know NR doesn't have live scoring. Whoa, Eric Monaco in the 3. So who's 20th? One of these guys. Is it King? I think it's Josh King, yes. Josh King currently holds the final transfer spot. Alexander Rowe is 7 behind him. King down to the inside. So does the 7. Here comes Tim Randolph in the 41. A lot of the big name drivers, a lot of the few, few of them who are top 10, top 15 in points are back there. Yeah, it could be very crucial if they miss this all-star race, because now yeah, the all-star race pays out a lot more points. Oh, got a car on the wall. Just scraping it, though. It's the 99. Yeah, lose a couple spots. But that's slipping back quite a bit actually. It's more than just losing a couple spots. He lost some ground. And now those guys in the top 20 have closed in. Oh, I forgot to mention that there won't be any overtime finishes in the showdown race. 
or in the segments, except for the final segment. If we have to go over time, it'll only be in the final segment of the race. Currently it's King, but looks like Brown on the outside line. Might be able to hang on to it, being on the top lane, but we'll see. Despite their so potential three points up for grabs, they're not too aggressive up front, I don't think. Three tenths back, the 22 car is. Still a little bit difficult to pass here. We already mentioned about the low line having no grip and the or lack thereof. Or, I mean, no. What? I mean, not as much grip as the outside line. So here comes Tim Randolph to the inside. Oh man, very aggressive in a turn three. Just under 10 laps to go. Still got a little bit of time left. No need to be super aggressive now. Oh, very close here. King would have still beaten him. Tim Randolph is on the charge here. Trying to get ahead of King. Who turns one and two. He is ahead, but he's not clear. Down to the inside. Going to try to pick up another spot as a cushion. If he can. Go oh, three wide. Max Anderson really sending it there in the turn three. He knocks Kennedy. Or not or, or Kenny Johnson and Richard Hodak. Chase Harris now down to the bottom. Randolph, nope. Just Josh King able to clear him. Got a car scraping the wall. It's the eight. Oh, oh, he's gonna get turned. Oh, Nick uh, Wilcox, Carlos Rodriguez, and they're wrecking. And we're under caution for the second time. David Davison on the one. He'll easily come around and take the yellow flag once again. All right, with six laps to go. Okay, yellow flag is out. So let's take a look at the replay. So we saw Mitchell Hodak, he's scraping the wall there, went a little too high through turn two. He gets off of it right off the exit, but he ends up coming across the nose of Tony Green. Got him out of control, takes Nick Wilcox, and there's Rodriguez in the number 19. They spin, and Tony Green spins, and then take a look at that. You could see a Tina McCoy, oh man. And then Green upside down. Blazy Batar, Stephen Oaks, or Stephen Oaks. Big hit there. Yeah, that was a huge shit. How is that car still driving? How is he, how's he still driving that thing? Yep, that uh, little opening there for all those, those medical cars to come out. It's not the first time we've seen this kind of wreck here at Charlotte. Yeah, when they go straight for that wall, you know it's going to be big. He went upside down. Yeah, even with the car slowed or has been slowed down. Slowed down or and stuff. Yeah, we had once had a wreck here. A few, or maybe I think it was last season actually. Yeah, we had a wreck. Uh, had a car hit that exact wall, but a lot more violent. Not to say this was any violent, but yeah, that one was a lot more violent. Huge wreck there for both the 42 and the 11. Green going upside down. Yeah, exp yeah, anything can happen here, even on the showdown races where, you know. And this wasn't even for the transfer spot. These guys were top 30, top 35, below 20th, below 25th too. You know, they weren't even that close. So very aggressive racing there. But the A car, yeah, and was in the wall in the 43 with a lot of damage. Oaks looks like he just got off with a couple of scratches. But yeah, so second yellow of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. All right, here we go. So. Green and McCoy out. Yeah, so pretty, figured, pretty much figured that out there. Guessed it. 37 cars remain on the racetrack. Some of those guys didn't make repairs and, you know, they still have a chance. It's a very slim chance, but who knows? Half the field can wreck in front of them. And they can just swoop in and take those extra spots. Or those last few spots, not extra spots. There's no fan vote or any lucky draw. It's just top 20. Nothing like that. Base car is pulling in. David Davison leading us to the line again. Here we go. The restarts are the best place to make a pass here. Green flag, Noodles with a really good launch. Quickly to the outside and back down to the inside. 
could get the lead here from the one and take those three points for himself. Is he gonna clear him? If he can clear him, might be able to do it here. Yes, he can. Three wide here for second place. Oh man, really sending in there hard. Oh, teammates again. Orman. Now we saw the JTG cars get together. Now we see the Henrik cars, although this was not super aggressive. And here comes Holiday down to the inside as we're now got one lap to go. Holiday gonna try to slide up there. Not gonna work. Currently in 20th. Who was 20th at the line? 41, Tim Randolph. Side by side, down the back straight away. Here they come. All they down on the inside. Noodles on the outside. There's Cropley in the 12. Here they come. Checkered flag. It's going to be a photo finish. And at the line. Oh, that was a real close one. And the winner is... Noel Holiday wins the All-Star Showdown. And a crazy photo finish. Oh, and they're crashing. Oh, they're crashing. Wait, who got the final transfer spot? Oh, we got a car nearly upside down. And the next 10 cars will be Tim Randolph, King, Brown, Vargas, and why am I seeing this here? I should say this when we look at the full race results. Okay, let's take a look at the full race results first. Wow. Oh, that was pretty entertaining at the end. David Davison led every single lap except for the last two so at least he's in but man those three points man yeah, that could have been really good and look at the finish right there all this for the showdown race all this for three points and who knows that those extra three could mean the championship at the end so noel hall they with the last lap pass made the inside line work we saw the outside line completely dominant the entire race right until the checkered flag or up until the checkered flag. We saw the inside line just beats the outside line by thousands of a second. So Nick Kennedy third, David Davison fourth, Raymond Fisher fifth, Colin Cropley sixth, Nathan Norman seventh, Tobin McCoy eighth, Winnie Callow ninth, Martin Stone tenth. Then Ryan Butcher, David Martins, Eric Monaco, Jeff Scott, Kip Silver Point, Jack Rain Dancer, Christian Vargas, Michael Brown, Josh King, and Tim Randolph all advanced to the all star race. And here is the rest of the race results. Let's take a look at the wreck first, then we take a look at the finish again. Alright, let's see what happened at the end there. Pretty huge crash at the end. It wasn't a, a very small crash, it was Jeff Scott and Kip Silverpoint. Yeah, these two guys, they're already advanced, what are they doing? Uh, they wrecked their own race cars, luckily there is no backup car sent to the back wheel. And oh my god, Chase Harris in the four. Big T-bone, and man, they're wrecking hard. Two cars upside down. Man, who would have thought? And this was after the race, too. <laughs> they racked harder in the cooldown lap than the actual race. And look at this. They're just scrambling. And then there's Hodak. His, his car's even more destroyed. Nevins, Mitchell Collins. Some of these guys who just didn't advance. And now they have a wrecked race car at the end of the race. Crazy flip, too. Spectator view? Might be a little hard, but... Okay, we can see. Yep, there's Chase Harris. Big T-bone on the door. And that car's twirling, and then there's a big hit from Mitch, uh, Mitchell Collins and Malik Nevins. Yeah, the uh, rain dancer that kind of acted like a like a the bottle opener, almost. That kind of reminded me of that. Kind of kind of a weird comparison, but whatever. That's the best I can come up with. The way Scott um, uh, flipped over because of rain dancer. I wonder why the TV one cam is at the wall usually TV2 has the uh, that wall camera don't know what it's called trackside camera but uh, yeah so huge wreck at the end of the race but uh, yeah some of them well they just roll the backup car and use that to race the all-star race and then let's take a look at the finish what a finish this was so holiday able to squeeze by and this time she gets she gets the last lap pass and wins the race. Remember the fight Daytona 500. She lost the race to the last lap pass. And even Kennedy had noodles pushing. But Holiday just had enough speed. Just enough. To get to the line. By thousands of a second. Incredible. 
And was there an insane battle for the last position? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Tim Randolph clearly had have Max Anderson. No chance for Anderson there. So, yep, Tim Randolph easily takes the final spot. So, yeah, and this is how they're going to they're gonna line up, too, for the All-Star race. So, that is it for the showdown. We still got more action left. Noel Holiday is the winner. And, uh, sure, let's take you to victory lane. Still a win to be celebrated.